do specialized marine services in the marine environment, pipelines, oil rig recovery, aircraft recovery, salvage, and uh, towing an iceberg, why not? We know how to tow it, we know how to moor it, uh, we know the challenges, we don't mind moving at two miles an hour. All of the experts agreed that there is one place on Earth that the first iceberg should be coming to because of all the factors in its, in its favour would be the Cape. There's the fact that you've got the Benguela current, the temperature differential is in our favour. The type of uh, geotextile skirt that we're going to have designed and, and fabricated to actually provide the insulation of the iceberg on passage and once it's on location, that material was not available 10 years ago. The towing material was made of Dyneema. Again, it was not available 10 years ago. The satellite uh, tracking of all these icebergs 10 years ago it was very expensive to do that. Now they have geostationary satellites based at the poles to constantly monitor. So there's still the Southern Ocean is a challenging part of the world. So you're going very slowly, one, one and a quarter knots, two, two kilometers an hour. But all you want to do is make sure that you track into the right side of the swirl in the current to get into the Benguela. And uh, that hasn't been happening naturally. So we're just going to help guide it. It's far more viable than desalination, short term and long term. No waste product, no brine. It's pure water. It's 1500 years old or more. So it's just waiting for us to bring it. Basically south of 60 degrees south, the Antarctic Treaty prohibits any exploitation. Uh, these are not only north of 60, but they're now north of 50 degrees. So they're actually closer to Cape Town, like one third from the Cape and two thirds from Antarctica. It's um, driven by water vision of Switzerland. Uh, they've come down to South Africa. It's a passion of Wolfgang to say, listen, you guys have a crisis. I have products that can help in that crisis. But also we're going to look at what's not just on the table of the normal range of products, what, what are the alternatives as well? What, what, are the, what are the things that the government's not thinking about? And this is the glacial water, icebergs, so if you get to a point where they're going to recreate 100 million litres a day from what the government can do, and we can do another 200 million litres a day from glacial water and icebergs, there's got to be something that's worth looking at.